We come thanking you and praising your name. Would you worthy to be praised? Well, Lord, we ask that you hide me behind the cross. That they don't hear me, they don't see me. They hear you, Lord. They see the blood. But that a guy said that is their word from God. Lord, let me utter what you have given me. They're not my words, Lord. They're your words to your people. To whom they ever have a ear, let him hear what thus saith the Lord. Lord, we need you. We ask, Lord, as your word go forth, you said that it would not come back for me. Somebody needs a touch this morning. Somebody needs encouragement this morning. Somebody needs to be lifted up, Lord. Somebody needs to know that you're still in control. Now, man, so let your words fall fresh on the waiting congregation, on the ears, on the ones that have a heart to receive it. Now, let the meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy life. For, oh God, you are my strength. And my redeemer. For we have these things in your son Jesus' name. For his sake. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to be long because today is well spent already. We didn't have baptism. We didn't have the praise dance. We didn't have the choir sing. And, 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 and we didn't have all the call. We, we're ready to hear just a little bit from the Lord. Just a little bit. I won't be long. If you would <clears throat> uh, stand for the reading of God's word. It will be coming from Matthew, the fourth chapter, verses one, uh, one through eleven. Verses Matthew, the fourth chapter, verses one through eleven. If you're there, just say, um, I'm ready. If you're not, just say, wait a minute. Matthew 4, verses 1 through 11. And I assume everyone is there. And it reads as follows. Then Jesus was led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, and afterwards he hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city, and set at him on the pinnacle of the temple. And he said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus said unto them, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And he said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou would fall down and worship me. Then said Jesus to him, Give thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve then the devil leaveth him, and behold, an angel came and ministered unto him. Look to your neighbor and say, neighbor, Reverend Wright needs your prayers and your amen. He's going to preach about this morning. If thou be, if thou be. Given unto God Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior.
saints and friends. Deacons, saints, friends, sinners, few members, if that be any. I want to give all this to my wife. I don't see her. She must be taking care of me. Anyway, God has blessed us. The election is over. Brother Robert, you don't have to worry about it. We got another president. Somebody say he was somebody say that they were dealing from under the deck. You know. But God is still under control. <clears throat> I don't care who gets there and when they get there, God only allowed them to be there. Maybe God's people need to need, need somebody to chastise. The children of Israel had a, a, a king a, a, the, the king out of a, 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 a Egypt. To chastise them. Or well, they say that the church prayed day and night. In order for the church to pray day and night, the Lord has to put something in your life. Right. Maybe the church needs to get back to where the Lord wants That's us right. to be. Right. It says that if thou be, if thou be the children of God, he says that you should be, this, this place, we shouldn't have enough room. They should be putting chairs along the sidelines of on, on, on every angle of this. If I be, if we be the church, we need to stand and be the church. Amen. But anyway, Jesus <coughs> was led up into the wilderness. That reminds me of that this world system, every person should have some kind of identification. He said, if I be, whatever you be, I don't know what you'll be, but the word says, if thou be, whatever your name, you can put it in that blank. He said, you need some kind of identification. Uh, must, uh, uh, the most of us, uh, with, uh, in our wallets or in our purses, uh, uh, we have to carry somebody. <laughs> you have to carry your driver's license or your social security card. These items, as important as they might be, tell us a very little about the one that's carrying them. Let me tell you again. It tells you little about the individual who has this ID. Driver's license tell you how old are you, your height, the color of your eyes, identify your gender, but tells you nothing about your character. We are constantly asking <laughs> in and everybody, who are you? We have to store it up in our tailor-made mind details of the people when they ask us this question, who we want them to believe about us. And the truth is seldom brought to the light or we suffer an identity crisis. Resumes or tools or sophisticated items that, that we use, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, they lie on resumes, certain titles, we carry them. Some of them are earned and unearned. They are deceptive. They put title. This is all for social advantages. Some of them have the prefix. You know the prefix, Dr. So-and-so, uh, might be a proper label for our vacation. But it says nothing about our proficiency and even less about how worthy we are in the kingdom of God. Satan is a person who can test your true identity. For you know that you were healed before you came to Jesus Christ. He can test your true identity and determine who and what you are in undeniable certainty. You know he is the tempter, the tester, who has guts enough to even test Jesus Christ. That's some guts, ain't it? For Jesus was up there in heaven when they throw him down. But Jesus know who he was. The three words in our text carry on uh, uh, the care of talk and the idea of, 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 of this 
thing that they used to have in a black school, they called it Steve Barnes. With the ethnics. This be this, this this black word be. Our children in conversation or serve or centered around what be right. What be, what about you be? Identification to our children and much of this conversation of this generation has to do with the ability to explain what you be. It, it's, it's what they call a box. And, 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 and you didn't heard the young people talk. You, you didn't hear them. You know, they, 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 uh, they shortcut the words and they put a, put a ebonic or uh, a black word in front of the actual word. The challenge comes in the form of if. If thou be. If thou be. And the word if. Let's deal with if. Webster say the word if joins two things together. It's a conjunction. Y'all seen the little cartoons on TV. And it is conditioned, not as established fact, but only a mere possibility. If supposes, but never developed or affirms, you know, you know what you understand? It is the most notorious work, work found in the, the, the ability to spread doubt, fear, and confusion. Ill. Ill. It, it always has some, if you can answer that word, ill. That's what the devil does. The, the devil comes in and say, if thou be, as we watch the temple working on the master, <clears throat> I wasn't none, there, there, there's four words or four name fronts on which the word ill hunts and attack our own life. For Jesus Christ was led into the wilderness. And you know that that, that puzzle that puzzles our mind, Brother Samuel. Jesus is no less than God and God Himself. But it says that Jesus came and he took on the robe of flesh. And it says that the Holy Spirit, I'm in verse one, led him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. You know that there's another D word. So when the enemy uh, uh, um, denial takes on discipline, whenever you deny yourself, you're improving your discipline. Anytime anybody, when I was growing up with and, and, and they were um, uh, 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 they were doing the um, they were doing the uh, uh, fasting. Oh, you could tell when they were fasting, brother Sammy. They had their faces all twisted up. They would tell you sometimes when they were fasting. I can't eat that today because I'm fasting. So who are you fasting for? Jesus was fasting.